here we'll see a data simple data path of art type instruction you see a very simple data path for art type instruction art type instruction i instruction uh, Okay, uh, let's uh, assume that the instruction is add 10, 11, 12. So this is our instruction. So here I am going to uh, design the entire R type instruction except uh, the control part obviously. So we'll, we'll see how the instruction, uh, uh, how the data path would look like. So the what is the first thing that we need in the data path? We need a program counter, right? So we need a program counter here. Let's call it PC. And from PC, this will go to the instruction memory. In short, IM. From instruction memory, this would go to the register file and from register file we and this would go to the alu this is the basic diagram okay now what uh, what else do we need here uh, we would need one adder by the way the symbol for adder and alu they are almost similar so uh, this will be uh, let me erase this line so this is one uh, connection will be from here so uh, one connection from here and this is four so this is our adder and this pc plus four so this link will carry the value that is inside the pc now so this link will carry the value that is inside the pc and then instruction memory okay uh, we need a control we need a control let's call this control and uh, will have uh, the one uh, control will have inputs from here and uh, but then control will send one control signal to the register file and then one to the alu we would call this as a register let's say call it let me erase this one okay, okay. So let, uh, let's uh, this is register write and this one ALU operation and then uh, we need to select few registers here and then this is not required so here so uh, this all these links are of five bits in length five bits in length and this one is 12 bits why 12 bits i'll tell you later and then uh, when we have the result, this result will go to this through this link. This is going to be 32 bit. Uh, so these two links, uh, these two links, they are also going to be 32 bits. And then this link itself is going to be uh, is going to be 32. Uh, going to be 32 bits okay okay now this is the basic diagram of of 
uh, art type instruction we could execute uh, logical operations if we write let's say and and instruction and let's say 11 uh, 12 and then 13 they, they, this can also be executed in this art type uh, uh, data path data path for art type instruction now we, uh, we need to do few uh, a little bit uh, more we need to finish uh, uh, or make few of the uh, links uh, the bit length so this is 32 bits this link will provide 32 bit data and similarly this link will also be 32 bits uh, this operation from alu data going from alu to the register file we call this write back we call it write back operation so now uh, we already know that this link uh, would carry data coming from register 11 data coming from register 11 and uh, this link would carry data coming from register 12 and this link will uh, will carry data for register 10 so this is how a, a basic art type uh, instructions data path or art type data path would look like Here, uh, I shall discuss the data path of memory operation. You already know that we have two types of memory operation. One is load and one is store. So, we'll see how we can design data path of load and store. So, uh, let's write a load instruction. Load, register 10, 40, and let's say 11 and store uh, let's say 13 48 11 just out of curiosity if i uh, kind of give you uh, an idea what this load instruction and store instruction means load we all know that this is uh, in general is is array operation similarly uh, similarly the store operation so load is something like uh, x in this case x is uh, if a is the array then this would be a 10 x equal to a 10 where x is in register 10 okay and store is uh, something like a for uh, a 12 is uh, let's say y this is what uh, the store instruction would look like and uh, y is in register 30 just uh, to uh, give you uh, a, a mapping kind of a mapping now uh, we'll see how we can design data path for load and store first we'll start with load so we all know that uh, the a for any instruction we have program counter the first thing that we need is uh, this uh, erase this one the first thing that we would need is program counter so this is our uh, this is our program counter and from program counter uh, the next one that we need is our instruction memory from instruction memory we have our register file from register file uh, we have our alu which basically is our execution uh, stage and uh, let's write a l u and after ALU, we have another component which is called data memory, right? Which is called uh, uh, data memory. So, 
in in case of memory operation will be performing operation or will be performing read and write in data memory so uh, let's complete the diagram in, in uh, or data path uh, starting from the beginning so program counter we all know that uh, we program counter gets incremented by 4 so this is where the program uh, counter would get increment would uh, get incremented by four using the help of uh, this this adder so this four and uh, value coming from here so this 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 link carries program counter and the this value gets the uh, added by the four and generates pc plus four so address of the next instruction memory address of the next instruction inside the and then instruction memory instruction memory uh, reads the uh, in instruction memory the address is is uh, uh, the memory instruction is read from the address that is generated by the program counter and it goes to the decode stage this is the, this part this entire part is our fetch stage. Then we have our uh, decode stage, and the rest is our execution stage. So, uh, in the register file, we have control. We need a control. So this is our control. Control. Uh, so there is a link that going from this one, uh, from this. So, and then this is our uh, RS, and then this is our RT, and all of them are 5 bits in length. This link will be of 6 bits, and then this is our data, data link. Uh, control unit again uh, will send a register right ALU uh, ALU operation and uh, since we are performing load operation so memory read read operation okay okay now uh, if we consider the load this is our uh, our constant or the offset uh, rather uh, 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 offset but this is 16 bits so what do we need to do we need to convert it into 32 bit just by sign extending okay so we'll have another uh, hardware which in short we'll call it sign extension hardware and uh, we'll uh, do some modification in this diagram uh, the second input of the alu will come from the sign extension hardware so this link will take 16 bit value and this link will generate 32 bit value so through this link 40 of 16 bit in length will uh, come to the uh, sign extension hardware and will exit as 32 bit sign extended uh, 40 and that will go to the ALU. Control tells the ALU to perform addition operation since we are generating the memory of the memory address. So now the output of the ALU is not the uh, not the final result. It's the memory address. Okay memory address let's assume the alu uh, uh, the address that alu generates is this this is the address that may uh, alu generates so when this address uh, when uh, the address is uh, uh, the read operation is performed in this memory address whatever the data that we have will go into this through this link so this link will be of 32 bit okay so data memory will uh, will output this and the data and this this link this link will carry date uh, register 10 data. Uh, let me write it a bit closer 
so that you can understand it. Uh, uh, so this link carried data for register 10. Okay. And uh, as uh, the previous one, this link will carry a uh, carry data from register uh, 11. So this is uh, this is the data path uh, for a load operation. Now, uh, what would be the da uh, data path for store operation? For store operation. If we compare that with the load operation, in case of load operation, we are performing a read operation in the data memory and bringing the data into the uh, register file. But for store operation, the oper uh, uh, we are performing a write operation inside a uh, inside the data memory. Whatever the value that we have inside a register, uh, in our case, if we follow this instruction, in our case, whatever the value that we have inside register 13 goes to the memory address after we calculate this uh, this part. Okay, so that means the write back operation is not present in store operation. So let's remove the write back part. Uh, let's remove the write back part here uh, and uh, let's uh, design the circuit for uh, uh, de uh, design the data path that can perform the store operation so also this instruction is not going to uh, uh, we do not need this instruction also we do not uh, not instruction the uh, control signal also, we do not need this control signal. We need different control signals because we are not performing any write back. That's why we do not need any register write operation. Similarly, we are not performing any memory read operation. So we do not need memory read uh, uh, control signal. Rather, we need memory memory write signal now. Now, uh, in this case, uh, so what would happen? Uh, uh, so in this case, wh wh what would happen is this link will carry data coming from register 13. Okay, so this link will carry data uh, coming from register th uh, 13. Rest of the portion will remain the same because we know uh, that uh, to perform the uh, or generate the memory address we need to perform addition uh, with the base address that is inside the re inside register 11 and with this offset so uh, through this link 16 bit 48 will come and sign extension hardware will exit 32 bit uh, sign extended value of 48 so the ALU again could perform the addition operation and this addition operation will generate a memory address and in this case just for uh, for uh, just to make it uh, uh, different from the previous one let's say this time the memory address is uh, this uh, this will be different memory address and uh, so uh, this is uh, this is the uh, memory address that uh, the uh, that store operation generates and in this memory address this data will go so this is how store operation exit 